Hello friends, this video on morphology of flowering plants part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so now that we have almost discussed everything else, so it is time to talk about the different types of flower. Now, depending upon all these parts which we have discussed so far, petals, sepals, carpels, stamens, based upon all these parts, based upon the way all these parts are arranged, there are many different types of flowers which are seen. Now, there are many different bases based on which the flower are categorized, flowers are categorized into various types. So, we will discuss about the types of flowers based on the presence of male or female sex organs. We will also discuss about the types of flowers based on symmetry. Types of flower based on number of floral appendages. We will also talk about the variety of flowers based on position of calyx, corolla and androsium with respect to the ovary on thalamus. So these are some of the bases which we will talk about. I mean, how many types of flower are there based on symmetry? How many types of flower are there based on the number of floral appendages? So we will talk about each of these topics in detail. So let us start with flower types based on presence of male or female sex organs. Now broadly flowers are classified into two types, unisexual and bisexual. So unisexual, the word uni itself means one. So that means either stamen or carpel is present. So either male, male sex organ will be present or the female sex organ will be present. So that type of flower, that means the, a flower, inside that flower, both stamen and carpel will not be present. Either stamen or carpel will be there. So that is called unisexual flower. Now the flowers, examples of such flowers are papaya, melon, corn. These are examples of unisexual flowers. Now flowers where only stamen is present, they are known as staminate flowers. Similarly, the flowers where only carpel is present. Now there is another name for carpel that is called pistil. Carpel is also known as pistil. So the plants where only, the flowers where only carpel is present, they are called pistillate flowers. Right? Okay. So these are some of the examples of unisexual flowers where only one sex organ is present, either male or female. The next type is bisexual, that is two sexes are present. That means both stamen and carpel are present in such flowers. So examples of such flowers would be rose, lily, sweet pea. So here you can see both the things being present. So if you want, you can actually look at a rose and you can actually, you will actually be able to see both the stamens as well as the carpels. So these are the two types of flowers based on the presence of male or female sex organs. Unisexual, that is only one sex. Bisexual, both sexes present. Let us look at the flower types based on symmetry. So when I say symmetry, what comes to your mind? We have already spoken about symmetry in our previous lesson. So I do not want to get into the same topic that what is symmetry and when do you call an object as symmetrical. I don't want to get into all that. But when symmetry comes to your mind, you think of certain types of symmetry like radial symmetry, bilateral symmetry or no symmetry, right? So now there are three types of flowers based on symmetry. They are actinomorphic, zygomorphic and asymmetric. So these are the three types of flowers based on the type of symmetry which they exhibit. So let us discuss each of them quickly. So actinomorphic. So morph means the external feature. Morphic is derived from the word morphology. So actinomorphic are those flowers with radial symmetry. So what do you mean by radial symmetry? When I say radial symmetry, that means if you have an object and if you consider a central axis, 
you can divide that object into two equal halves. Then we say that the object is radially symmetrical. Let us suppose if we have a circle. Now, if you consider the central axis, any central axis, this will divide it into two equal parts. Similarly, if you consider this, this will also divide it into two equal parts. Right? So, we say that this object is radially symmetrical. Correct? So, any flower with radial symmetry is known as, is said to be actinomorphic. Now, let me draw a few pictures to explain you what is actinomorphic. Let us suppose if you have a flower like this with four petals. So, what happens in this case? If you actually take this axis, so it is divided into two equal parts, right? If you take this axis, it is again divided into two equal parts. If you take this axis, again divided into two equal parts. Right? So we can say that this flower is actinomorphic. Correct? Okay. So examples of such flowers would be mustard and chili. So here you can see the picture of a mustard flower as well as the picture of a chili flower. So all these are radially symmetrical. The next type is zygomorphic. So any flower with bilateral symmetry. Bilateral symmetry means if you take an axis, you can divide it into right and the left halves. For example, the human body is zygomorphic. I'm sorry, the human body exhibits bilateral symmetry. So if you take an axis like this, let us suppose if this is the human body. So if you divide it along this axis, you get one right half and one second half and, and one left half. So we can say that it has bilateral symmetry. So these kind of plants are called, these kind of flowers are called zygomorphic. Example would be a pea flower or a bean flower. So this is the side view of a pea flower, this is the front view. So from front it looks somewhat like this. So if you actually consider an axis like this, you actually get two equivalent right and left halves so that which proves that it has a bilateral symmetry right so this is zygomorphic so actinomorphic is radial symmetry zygomorphic is bilateral symmetry and what is the third type that is asymmetric that means a flower without any symmetry that means no fixed um, shape maybe any arbitrary shape with no symmetry example is canna so here you can see this canna is a flower where you actually don't see any kind of symmetry neither radially symmetrical nor bi bilaterally symmetrical so however asymmetric flowers are quite rare now if you look at the flowers in your garden be it a sunflower or a rose or a hibiscus they all will have some kind of symmetry most of them are radially symmetrical many of them are even bilaterally symmetrical but asymmetric flowers are really, really rare because generally flowers do have a specific orientation. They do have a specific shape. So these are the three types of flowers, actinomorphic, zygomorphic and asymmetric based upon symmetry. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.